Hey guys! Today we are starting our new project, the Pointillist Landscape, um, and we are going to start with uh, returning to our seven elements of art. Um, the focus for this project is color. Um, I think we all know what color is, uh, but we're going to get into more specifics about kinds of color, um, and we're really going to be focusing on noticing subtle um, variations in colors. <clears throat> so, first of all, um, we're going to talk about a little bit of color theory. Um, so, primary colors, let's start there. Primary colors, red, yellow, and blue. Um, red, yellow, and blue are primary colors because they are um, the building blocks of all the other colors. Right? So you cannot make red, yellow, or blue by mixing other colors together, um, but we can make all the other colors by mixing red, yellow, and blue together, plus white and black. Um, but so they are they're kind of the building blocks of all the other colors. Um, you have to start with those colors in order to get other colors. Uh, you can't go the other way around. Um, so that's what makes them primary. Um, and let's take a look at this color wheel, right? So we've got red, yellow, and blue, our primary colors in a triangle. Um, and between the primary colors, we've got our secondary colors, orange, green, and violet or purple. Um, they are placed between the primaries that create them. So a secondary color is a color that is a mixture of two primaries. Um, so orange is a mixture of yellow and red, uh, green is a mixture of yellow and blue, and purple is a mixture of red and blue. Um, you can tell what mixes them uh, by looking on that color wheel to see which primary colors they are between. Um, lastly, we've got our intermediate colors. So these are the colors that are between the primaries and secondaries. Um, the color, the intermediate colors on this wheel are examples. Um, intermediate colors are infinite, right? They are all of the in-between shades of color. They're all of the colors that fall between the primaries and secondaries. Um, there can be many subtly different um, intermediates, um, but the, the main point to remember is that intermediate colors are the in-between the colors. They're the colors that are not primaries and they're not secondaries. There's some other mixture of hues. All right. Um, so the what I'd like you to do is um, take some time to try out this color mixing challenge game. Right, so in this game, um, you are given um, a goal color um, and uh, this, I'll put this link in the website, uh, but it is tricolors.com slash game. Um, so they give you a goal color, and this is your palette down here. So you need to figure out how to make this color. Um, so this is a, looks like a pretty standard gray, so I'm going to start with black and white. Um, so this is a little bit darker. I think I need some more white. Now it's too light. I need some more black. Right, so you're trying to get that ratio. Um, and you might need to go back and forth with these same colors. Um, right, so I needed four blacks and five whites. Um, I needed that ratio of 44% black to 56% white to get um, a match, and this was a 100% match. Um, it gives you this check mark um, anytime you get a 99.5% match or higher. Um, right now I'm in the easy level, um, which is often a combination of just two colors from your palette. Um, as you progress to normal or hard, um, you'll be mixing more colors in. Um, so let's try let's try one on normal. All right, so this is kind of a dark green. I'm gonna guess green, blue, and black. That gets me pretty close, but I, think I need some more blue. Of course, that's too much blue. Another green, another blue, maybe black. Okay, I'm getting closer, a little bit more green. There we go. So I got four blues, three greens, and four blacks. And I got another 100% match. Uh, let's check out hard. All right, so this definitely has some yellow and green in it. 
My yellow, some white, another white. Um, so now this, um, something interesting here, this looks um, a little bit duller. Um, so I might add some pink to make this a bit duller and add some, uh, some more green and yellow to kind of make up for that. Some white, more yellow. Oh, that's so close, come on. Oh, there we go, one more white. All right, so I've got nine whites, three greens, one pink, and five yellows. A 99.72 match. It's pretty good. So, um, so I'd like you to play around with this and just notice, you know, all these different colors that go um, into this, that especially this, you know, this pink is kind of unexpected, right? This looks uh, pretty yellow green, um, but, you know, just the yellow and green was too bright. Um, so in order to create a duller, more muted color, you need to add the opposite, right? So red or pink would be the opposite of yellow and green. Uh, let's try another one on this hard level, see what else we find. All right, so again, this is, this is a duller shade of purple. Um, the opposite of purple is yellow. Um, another, another way to dull a color down is um, a, the combination of both black and white. Makes kind of a gray. All right, so um, so what I'd like you to do um, after you've found a match, um, especially um, I'd like you to get one on either normal or hard. Um, I think you can get past easy, I hope, um, is I'd like you to take a screenshot of this and put it in your PowerPoint. So um, to take a screenshot, um, in your computer you have a program called Snip and Sketch. And so I'm gonna open this up, click New, and now this lets me drag a square rectangle around my color. All right now I've got this on my clipboard and I can open up my PowerPoint, new slide, right click, paste. All right. <clears throat> Um, so thank you so much for playing with me. Again, it's tricolors.com slash game. And um, I will put that link in the, in the page, in the webpage for this project. And I will see you in the next video where we really get going.